Hello, 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 and welcome to Your Beautio. So, I've got an unboxing again. I seem to do a lot of unboxings, but it's kind of what I do. I collect stuff, I buy it, I unbox it. Before, of course, we go any further, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the video, give me comments, thumbs up, thumbs down. This week, I've got an incredible, incredible, incredible unboxing. Every week I go on about Twitter, every week I go on about Instagram. Well, a gentleman posted on Twitter that he had some Sabutio. It was open for free. I got in touch with him, I got it. And through the kindness of Twitter, I managed to get a job lot of Sabutio for free. Now, I'll probably say this later on as well, but I'm not on Twitter at all for donations of Sabutio. I'm not on it at all for that. I'm on it for the conversation. But, wow, to sound like this happens, it's truly, truly, truly amazing. So, I'm going to go and do me air. Then I'm going to sit on the sofa and we'll have a look and see what we've got, shall we? So, I'd be lying if I said I did it up a little bit. I've just videoed unboxing a load of teams that I got sent by someone on Twitter, the kind donations of collection. I go around to check the recording. Didn't record, did it? Didn't record. Fuming. But anyway, I can still show you what I bought. So what I'm going to do, as I take it up, because as I was unboxing, I was putting it on the floor. Well now, I'm going to take it from the floor and put it back. Oh, what a spanner. I'm fuming. But anyway, Story goes, I'm on Twitter, I always tell everyone I'm on Twitter, I always go Twitter this, Twitter that, Twitter this, Twitter that. A gentleman, first name Nick, who I will put a link down to his Twitter in the description, so go and follow him please. He contacted me saying he's got loads of beauty, oh, if you wanted to go and get it, then I could go and collect it and have it for free. Well, he lived a bit far from me, it was a bit of a drive, so I sent him a message, cheeky one, look, saying, look, if you post it to me, I'll, uh, I'll sub you the shipping if that's alright. He agreed to it, and then lo and behold, sent it, giving me an address, sent it to me, what an absolute star trying to pay the shipping but oh, he won't he won't even let me pay it i've asked for his paypal address he will not will not give it to me he will not let me pay him so nick if you're watching please pal please please let me pay the shipping i know it worked much you're an absolute star it's one of the best donations to my collection i've ever had so <laughs> you're a legend you're an absolute legend so let's start off oh look i'm picking it all up this is great you can probably see the box there from where i unboxed it so we'll start off with <laughs> Some metal rod goalkeepers with box. Bootiful. Absolutely bootiful from a time gone by. They can go in now. I'll put them away properly in a minute. World Cup goals. I'll tell you what. Set 130. Look at the box. Look at the quality of that box. The goals are in just as good condition as well. As good today as they probably were in the 60s. Fantastic. <laughs> Nick, mate, you're an absolute star. Even got a bit of rubber band on them from where you probably held them down. I wonder how old the acid bands are. You know what? I'm not even going to take them off because they are evidence that these were played with and loved. Stuff all this collecting for profit, like Collect because you enjoy things. Keep things as they were. That's one of the things that I'm actually really excited about these teams because, look, it's got all these team names written on them. This is reference 41. I have to check that the reference is right. I'm not very good at remembering references, but look at this, right? All the players are numbered. All the painted numbers on the back of all the players. Can't beat that. And then in the box, look, one, two, three, four, five. And as I turn them around, you might not be able to see, as I turn them around, number seven has got number seven in it. Who's that exactly went on the floor? That was number eight. Number eight's <laughs> gone. Right, they've been so cared for and loved. The boxes are in amazing condition. There'll be people out there, collectors will be like, oh, it's got a reference number on it, but oh no, it's got writing on it. You know what, mate, don't matter. Perfect, that's exactly how it should be. Shows they were loved and cared for and played. I got as well, look, some throwing figures. Some original style throwing figures. And in these, we've got some interchangeable goalkeepers. We've got a yellow one. We've got a green one. Oh, they can fall in now. We've got two throwing takers. We've got three balls, we've got a yellow ball, one of the stickers is missing, it's got a little bit painted on it, excellent. And then we've got two of the smaller balls. Why anyone would want to play with these smaller balls, I don't know, I'm rubbish with big ones. <laughs> so there's them. I've then got, now these are cool, these are cool. Now there might be a little bit, a bit, a little bit of repainting going on here. I'm wondering if the paint players have been painted brown because they've got a slight shinier look to them than they normally have. But there's some early heavyweight Brazils. Look at them, early heavyweight Brazils. Excellent, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've then got, we've got a reference, reference number eight, Newcastle United. 
They don't look like they've been repainted at all. And what he's done on these ones, because he couldn't paint the number on the back, he painted it on the base. <laughs> Excellent. He's even put, in fact, there's a little bit of a, there's a little repaint as well. So you've got a little repaint on the goalkeeper shorts there. These might have been touched up as well. I don't know. I'm going to have to check with his reference numbers because I'm not good at remembering reference numbers and see if they are the team or where they've been touched up and bits and bobs like that. See, these ones These ones say Chelsea, 42, all blue. But they've got some white shorts painted on. You can see, I can see where the paint has been done on them. I don't care. I think they're absolutely awesome. Someone painted them. That's quite a good paint job, in fairness. I don't know what team it was meant to be. I'm sure I'll find that afterwards. But you know what? You can let me down in the comments below. What else we got? All right. Older style box. White shirts, black shorts, Derby, Luton, Fulham. There you go. These have been touched up with paint as well, I'm pretty sure. But still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Don't go wandering off. These are early heavyweights. In fact, he's a walker, isn't he? Or has he just buckled a little? Oh, no. What it is. So that's, that's your early heavyweight. Not your classic heavyweight, it's an early heavyweight. Their arms were slightly more extended. But I reckon this one here has picked up a bit of an arm injury. He's holding it close to him. I reckon he'll be at the hospital afterwards. He's either dislocated his shoulder or something during the game. He's got to keep it close. <laughs> Hull City, Norwich, Oxford. Look at them. Reference number six, apparently. Player numbers painted on the back. Oh, beautiful. Absolute things of beauty. They're good, aren't they? Man City, all pale blue, but these, these, these ones interested me when I first opened them and I recorded it, it didn't go through. I opened these up, when, I, when, when Nick sent me pictures of what he had, I, I thought these were a Celtic, but these were, I can see the paint underneath on the shorts. These was originally a Man City, so this was originally maybe reference five, which may have been Man City, and then they've been painted over with white. I'm guessing, and I might be wrong, Nick, if you're watching, tell me, if you remember, tell me what you originally painted them to be. Did you mean them to be QPR? Because that would be my guess, but... I think you live up north somewhere, so there might even be someone else that was meant to represent. Was it Celtic? If so, was the green meant to be, was the blue meant to represent a green? Because when you look at it next to a shoe beauty box, it does look green. I'm waffling. I'm so excited, I'm waffling. <laughs> Blackburn Rovers, reference number, well, I don't know, no reference number on the box, but I think these don't look like they've been repainted. They might have been. Who knows, the socks. The socks have got extra trim on, so I don't know. But I'll have to double check. I'll, need, I'll, I'll find that some way. I'm definitely not. There'll be there's people out there, and I don't blame them. It's what some people like to do when they collect. They like to get a special, you can get a material that takes the top layer of paint off so they can get it back to where they originally were. If I did it, I'd ruin them. But I'm not gonna, because that is a play with toy. The thing with Sabutio, right, is it's customizable. Right? right from building your own stadiums, any team you want. If you couldn't get the team, paint it yourself. So many people do it nowadays. There's so many people. I've followed troves of people on Twitter and Instagram who create their own teams. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Right, Leeds United, numbers painted on the back, definitely. One little break in there. Out of all of them, that is the only real break. I tell you what, that ain't bad. So there's me teams. I got a pitch as well. Can't go wrong. I'm going to go with it being a 60s pitch because it's got no Sputio branding on it. It's just the plain pitch. You've got your score line. I even got something you put around the bottle of wine in it as well. Nick, thank you so much. That is one of the kindest things I've had happen to me in a long while. Someone else done me a favor on Twitter, the Ginger Prince, he sent me the, um, the first in the La Legenda or La Legenda new platinum range. He sent me one of them when he went out, got, went out to it, he got one, brought it back for me, sent it to him. And he, he told me something called Collecting Karma. Collecting Karma, basically what it means is, it's like, you know someone collects something, you help them out and eventually you'll get out to it yourself. I tell you what, Nick, there's some karma coming your way, mate, because that is absolutely amazing. That is an absolutely amazing gesture. Thank you very much. Please, please, please get in touch with me. I'll bung you over the shipping. I don't want you having to fork out the shipping as cheap as it was. Let me play it. Please, 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 please. I'm buzzing. I'm so excited. That's such a great little thing. I'm so happy that I managed to get hold of them. I'm so happy there was some kindness in the world as well. Honestly, I tell you what, look at that. Seven or eight teams. Seven or eight teams on the pitch. Oh, i tell you what, fantastic. Well, look, if you want more nostalgic joy, if you want more Subutio, then please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't want that, even if you just want to watch me talk completely not a rubbish, like, share, and subscribe to the video. Talk to me. Let me know stuff down in the comments below. As I've said throughout this, I'm on Twitter. 
I'm on Instagram, I'm not on Twitter, so people offer me stuff. I'm on Twitter just to talk and show and sort of talk about some beauty and talk about anything else, really. So please follow me on Twitter, I'm on Instagram as well. That's me for the night. I'm off to play with these and see what they're like, see what the actual kits are. I'll see you soon. As always, keep on. Playing.